Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor with the IRS. Welcome to my YouTube station. It's the home of the five minute or less video. I've been doing this for 50 years. I've worked over 10,000 cases. I worked at IRS for um, how long? I worked there a decade. I've been in private practice fence for uh, 40, 40 years. I will have been doing this for 50 years. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope I get a subscription when I'm finished. I appreciate those. The only thing I ask of you. Um, I do a lot of these for just public service to get information out. Um, I have a whole team of former IRS agents. Many people have come to me because I've been on, I don't know, 10 or 12 major news broadcasts in the last three months alone. Fox, ABC, News Nation, all these stations, CBS, NBC, uh, throughout the years. And I try to give you the information you need. I have a whole team of former IRS agents on staff. Just go to 777irs.com and you can see the most important people of my practice. I do these videos for three reasons, so you don't get ripped off, so you get the truth, and I give you insider information when I can about the IRS. Today, I want to tell you about that you can sell your home with a federal tax lien. I want you to know that. A lot of people call me, and they said, hey, I, I can't believe this. I just found out I had a federal tax lien, and I, I'm not going to be able to sell my home. Well, that's the farthest thing from the truth. So you need to know that anybody can sell their home with a federal tax lien. Um, if you have a federal tax lien and um, there's equity in the home that can cover the lien, <coughs> you ask for an application of discharge and IRS will release that lien from that piece of property. You fill, you pull up the pub. We either do it, we charge, or you can try to do it for free. You pull up uh, publication 783 and you fill out the forms and the documents there and IRS will release that lien at the time of closing. They'll collect their money. They'll give you the release. Now, let's say you do not have the money to pay it in full and there's a lien. You can still ask for an application of discharge under a separate code section. I think it's at 7325. You can call me to find out. Let me just see what Peter went ahead and said. I asked him. That's oh, it's a code section 63. 25. It's on the back of the form. So if you are not going to pay it in full, you can ask for section 6325 and they will release the lien at closing. But this is what happens. IRS goes ahead and takes the money. They give you that person a release of the federal tax lien on that piece of property only. But then that rest of that federal tax lien follows you wherever you go. You need to understand that a federal tax lien is filed on a name, not a particular uh, address, because you can live in an apartment. And if you do, uh, <coughs> that apartment is going to have the lien because you don't own it. So at the end of the day, whether you are going to pay it in full or you are not going to pay it in full, IRS will release the federal tax liens just based on uh, your just based on a different code section. The Pub 783, it's about a two-page form. They ask for a number of documents, legal description, a HUD statement. You can just fill it out yourself. You pay us to do it, but I hope you can do it sometimes. The closing agent will do it just to get the case closed and receive a commission. So remember, no matter what, you can go ahead and sell your house, whether you have the equity to pay it or not. Give me a subscription. I try to give you the information you need. I'd really, really appreciate it. It helps me move up the line with YouTube. Thank you.